So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab. So simply click on Start Lab and open the console incognito window. Now, if you're completely new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now, let's get started. Now here simply click on I agree and agree and continue. Now we have to open the Vertex AI Studio. How we have to open? You have to just see. You can see here Vertex AI is here. You have to just come over here and just click on the Vertex AI Studio. Now here please pay attention to each and everything whatever I do. First thing is that you have to remove this unwanted pop-up. This is blue. Chat with Gemini. Just click on this cross icon. It will disable it. After that, we'll just initiate the chat session. How we have to do? Just follow along with me. On this new, then chat. Now simply click on dismiss. Click on this. Simply click on import from cloud storage. Select the bucket and select the this file. This pop up. Simply click on OK. Now the image is loaded. Now we have to update the Gemini version. To as per the lab instruction you can see here it's 2.5 flash so you have to update like this just carefully update it now for the system instruction you have to come down first of all we'll update the region so region might be different for you so choose accordingly first of all you have to click on model settings scroll down a bit and here you can see by default global region is here update as per lab instructions and now here just type any random message so if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Now once the prompt is ready, you have to write another prompt or write it. So basically describe the image in 20 words. You have to write and just click on the send button. This is ready. Now we have to save the prompt. For the prompt saving, copy the name from here, paste over here. Click on anywhere and then click on this save icon. Okay, make sure to enable the auto save prompt. Also, check the region from the lab instruction and then just save. Now, it will take at least two to five minutes depending on the lab. So, just wait for it. After that, we'll move forward to the next step. So, finally, here you can see the prompt has been saved already. Now, we have to just come to the lab instructions and check the score for task number one. You'll get the score without any issue and after that we'll move forward to the task number two so just stay tuned now from here basically click on the studio option and in the prompt section paste this system instruction now from here click on this plus icon and add the examples one by one here we have to add the input first of all and then output make sure there is no any extra space full stop or dot apart from this whatever i am doing now if it, there is a space use backspace and just add examples now for input we have to type a manual text basically what you can type we can type this is an example prompt or let me show you whatever i am typing just follow along with the video Now from here, basically we have to update the model as per the lab instruction, whatever it is present in the lab. After that, we have to just name the prompt. First of all, update the system instruction. Now here you can see the name is here. Copy the name from here. And as I repeat, make sure to check the name carefully that there is no any extra space or any mistake in spelling. After that, you have to just click on anywhere. Okay and then it will be auto saved over here okay if you have enabled the auto save it will be auto save now we have to move to the next step it's very easy just follow along with me come over here and here basically first thing we'll do click on the workbench option okay we'll click on the workbench option you have to come to the notebook and click on workbench after that we'll simply reset the notebook so just stay tuned as i am doing here the notebook is now already ready for us we don't have to create it just click on this reset now why we are resetting the notebook because sometimes what happens the files are not available on the jupyter notebook so for that they have mentioned in the lab also we are just resetting the notebook now wait for it to get reset
Now here simply click on the open Jupyter lab. Now sometimes what happens Jupyter lab does not respond. In that case you have to come back over here and open the Jupyter lab. And if you get any kind of error, let me show you. I have also got some error over here and I will show you over here. Here you can clearly see we have got one error. So in that case you can try one thing. You can reload also or you can come back to the workbench page and just open Jupyter lab. Let me show you. You have to just refresh it first of all. You can wait for a minute also and just open the Jupyter lab. Now wait for the Jupyter lab get open and after that we'll initiate the next step of this lab. Apart from this, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Also check the description for the master sheet for the skill badges. Now from here, the first thing we have to do, we have to click on this image analysis file. Now here by default kernel is not selected. Select Python 3 as kernel. Now here we have to make some changes. So please pay attention in this step because many of you are getting error in this step only. So come over here and click on this product analysis if you haven't closed the basically Vertex CI Studio chat. So come over here and click on code. Now scroll down a bit, wait for the page to fully load. Now copy this entire second content. Okay, second number content and just paste over here. Now from here, we have to just copy this client ID. Okay. Just copy this client section and from here to here carefully carefully here to here replace the content now here we have to add double inverted commas and in between it the project id will be there and similarly we have to repeat for the location it will be region over here so all things are available on the lab instruction you have to just follow as it is now from here click on this cell run selected shell on all belows or run all shells now wait for the kernel to get idle once the kernel is idle we'll just make some more changes and after that we'll be able to get full score on this lab here you can clearly see the kernel is now idle now here basically we have to add some text over here here you can see these are the text first of all copy carefully from here to here and then simply replace this text okay second one now again run it wait for it to get completed now here you can clearly see we have got the output now again we have to change add this prompt over here come over here replace this one up to here carefully and all these things are done just run it again now you can see kernel is busy wait for it to get idle so finally it is idle now simply click on file and save the notebook now once you save the notebook come to the lab instruction and check the score you can see we have got the score for this particular task and if you're not getting wait for some time or repeat the same step now task number four open the file again select the kernel as python 3 over here and wait for the kernel to get connected meanwhile click on this tagline generator from the basically vertex ci studio click on this code option and so if by default code is showing just copy the code in that case you have to just come over here and just select the second code like we did previously and come over here hit enter paste over here now from here okay you have to just just like we change the basically client you have to copy from the image file and come over here to the tagline file from here to here carefully update it once you have updated click on this and come over here learn all cell basically run all cell wait for the output generated here also we have to make a basic change over here only a basic change is required so just wait for the kernel to get idle so finally it's idle now now we have to just update the text over here so come over here and here you can see we have to add a tagline nature so for that copy it from here or you can type it also come over here to the right okay to the exact right come over here and full stop you have to simply add one space and just simply add the text over here so what text you have to add each word sorry each tagline must include the word add inverted comma single inverted comma and in between it add nature you have done this thing now you have to simply run the query okay run the query and after the kernel is idle we have to just save it and we'll get the score without any issue and if you have any query you can let me in the comment section guys to like the video and subscribe the channel this was the quick video about this challenge and we have completed it for master sheet you can check the description so thank you have a great day